What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor, sword version, not just brown. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Undra edition, Isle of Undra, oh wow. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor edition, shield version right here. And, well, in our last episode, we actually went in and got ourselves the uh, the mushrooms that were needed for the Dynamax, Gigantamax soup. And now it is time for us to go over to the, uh, the Master's room to talk to him, because he has a little bit of something uh, important to talk to us right here. And, well, there's Miss Honey looking fine, as always. And here he is, and hold on just a sec. Hide is like, hoo hoo, perfect. Now it's sure to work. All that's left is a fire up on the with the, the on button, so here we go, let's push it. Kerr. Hoo. Cripes, it powered down. Must still need more watts. Okay, that guy was a little bit uh, odd right there. Okay. So here's the master, and he would like to talk to you. As you can see, he has a nice uh, room of accomplishments here and there. A man cave, if you will. Mustard's here. He's like, there you are, Draven and Avery. Thanks for coming. When I heard you had something to tell me, I came soon as I, I could, master. Right. Well, I've decided that the two of you will now take the master dojo's final last ultimate third trial. A final last ultimate tri third trial, you say? I'm just going to be like, uh, what's that? So, are you saying that this would be the last trial? Ah, uh, yes. Well, yes. That's the gist of it. You are the, uh, the only ones who success successfully finished the second trial. You've pushed each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So, I'd say it's time to finally see who is stronger in the Dynamax Pokemon battle. We are to battle one another? That is a last trial? Yep, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will compete or complete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it. At last. Can I really? No, you can't. I'm flipping you off, buddy. The battle will be held in the, in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot, so you can Dynamax your heart's content. I, I must make haste. I must make for a battle court post haste. What the hell is post haste? Seriously. I must meditate or meditate on my un upcoming battle. And good to you then. I'll be on my way. Feel free to take it, take it easy on like a slow poke and take all the time you need to get ready. Okay. I'm going to need no time because I will destroy you. Just you wait, you prissy ass little bastard. Okay, so, little mustard right here, he's like, Avery, he's got some talent. Well, that's for sure, but it's causing him to slack off. He's never felt uh, the need to try hard at anything, I guess. Even with this training here at the dojo, I can, I can tell that he's been doing just the bare minimum. But things have changed since you arrived, Draven. Draven? Huh. Maybe you've ever awoken some sort of passion to drive in him, eh? Still, I only hope that that's motiva that motivation isn't put towards anything mischievous. Oh yeah, well this guy tried to cheat. Literally cheat. Okay, so if you go right here guys, what is this thing? Some sort of machine made out of a junk parts look like a Pokemon? What is this? Is some sex toy or something? You like it? Yes. <laughs> I thought you might be the type. That's my Cramomatic, and just to be clear, it's the invention of a century. It's my very it's my very own brilliant take on recycling. Though it doesn't do a thing right now since it's uh, out of power. If I just had enough watts, my mummy won't get, give me any more of hers. Huh. Well, let's see. It only takes 500 watts, so let's just go ahead and give him that. Whoa, seriously? You'll give me 500 watts I need? I take, I take me, or it take me ages outdoors to collect 500 watts, and the outdoors in me? Well, let's just say our systems aren't compatible. But you. Sorry that the, what was your name again? Draven? I guess you're uh, more of the outdoors type, huh? I'll feed those watts you gave me into the Cramomatic at once and power on. Oh, look at that, we're, we're turning this thing on right here. Cram! Hoo hoo, 
perfect, just perfect. Put in four items you don't need and you'll get a one, a one item in exchange. If you put four of the apricots that grow here in the Isle of Armor, then you might even get a rare Pokeball if you are real lucky. Since you gave me the wads and all, then feel free to use a Cramomatic as much as you like. Oh, okay, okay, so... Like you said, the apricots right here, you can actually put four of those little bastards to actually make one Pokeball, so... Let's see, how many apricots do I have right here? Let's see, apricots, where are you? Wow, these are the berries. Are you serious? Okay, how about here? Ah, here we go, the apricots. So I got one blue, one black, or four black, four whites, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so, yeah, let's go ahead and use all four of these, uh, all four, actually, hold on. What would happen if I mixed in two, two and two? Let's see, yes. Let's see if you mix uh, white and yellow. What ends up happening right here? And the combination complete. We get ourselves a great ball. What the? F okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and try something else right here. So, Lexi, what happens if you put in this one? Two whites. Yeah, and one black. Okay, so let's let's put in three. Apparently, they they don't create the rare pokeballs that you th you think you would actually get in Johto. And you get a timer ball. Okay, never mind. Okay, so that was pretty much it right there. I guess we should go into the Pokemon battle and just uh, mop the floor with this guy. Uh, let's see, what Pokemon should I have on my team? Oh, I got. Well, I think I got the right Pokemon right here. I don't think I need to change up anything else. Huh. Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep it like that. Let's keep it with the Pokemon that we have. I think we'll be fine. So, going outside, let's see what we can actually find right here. It's a big old arena, just like in the, you know, the gym battles and whatnot that we, uh, we faced about three, four months ago. And look at this. This is beautiful. Alright, you prissy ass. Smug little bastard. I'm gonna walk away from you. Ignore me and leaving me first? Is that. Is your nature hasty? Yep. I'm flipping you off. Ugh, okay. I really wish we could ignore him, but this guy, you know, he, he, he's just really. Like, I don't know who's more annoying, him or Hop now. So if you come at last, defeating you will grant me the secret armor. Then. I will la have at last have what I need to become the psychic type gym leader. No matter what it takes, I refuse to accept anything but a complete and utter victory. I'm coming at you with everything I have. Are you prepared? Okay, sure, why not? Bring it on. Bring it on. Okay. Looks like you two are ready. Oh, damn. Okay. Good luck. Everybody else is saying, I'm cheering for the both of you. No, you're not. You're cheering for me. All right. You two take your places. Whoa. How did you do that? How in the heck did you do that? Okay. He is a, yeah, he's Master Roshi's older brother. I don't know what, what that, would, that would be, but still Master Roshi's. The Master Dojo. Finally, the final trial. Ready? Oh, wow. And go. And yes, we are going to be challenged by Trainer Avery, and he's going to be coming out with his ponytail right here. And well, we got Deadshot. Now, if this was the Cantonian ponytail, yeah, this would be easy, but this guy's like, <laughs> let us have an elegant battle worthy of uh, being called a finale. Prepare to sink into despair and into the we weird battlefield beneath your feet. Oh, oh, this guy cheated. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're trying to give yourself a boost, but guess what? Sucker punch for the win. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, never mind. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, this guy is playing dirty. He is playing as dirty as can be. So, here we go. U-turn. Get it. 
there we go. Ponyta has been defeated, and he's like, ah, are you all right, my elegant Pokemon? No, she's not. Yeah. That's right. Go to sleep, you cotton candy looking Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Everybody gains a level, except, well, Leonardo grows a level right here, and, well, we're going to be switching it out. Let's go straight to... Let's go with Drago right here. I have yet to see him in battle in quite some time. Miss him. I really, really, really miss him. So here we go. Drago ready to take on some Kadabra. And, well, no, I am not afraid of a Kadabra. Bring it. Just bring it. Okay, so here we go. Let's go with the Boom Burst because it is a very loud and very strong. Here we go. Kamehameha. Look at that. No more Kadabra. You should have evolved it into Alakazam, homie. That was your issue. And Leonardo grows a level again. And he's coming out with a Slowpoke. You know what? We're going to continue on right here. Or a Swoobat. My bad. Okay, Swoobat. Let's go. A Dragon Claw. But here comes a uh, Air Cutter. And apparently that is stronger than uh, what I thought. <laughs> Super effective hit. That was the ele most elegant move choice of my part and well no it's not here we go this screw your elegancy with a dragon claw again and here comes another air cutter and that one really does some damage so here goes a dragon claw for the win eat it swoobat eat it that's right okay so bam we're growing levels again and well well, everything disappeared from the battlefield, and he's like, he's about to send Slowbro. Now, this is a different kind of Slowbro. It is, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, it is bit, well, you know what? We could keep Drago right here. All right, and she'll be awakened to our true psychic power here and now. Okay. Here we have Mega Man Slowbro, uh, Slowbro and well, let's go right ahead and use a max quick, defeat this guy real quickly. Time to grow, even though I have half my HP. You will not defeat me. There we go, time to grow, uh, grow and grow. Oh, yes. And it maximizes its uh, HP just a bit more. And let's see what this guy has. He's like, with that one, two, three, this Pokeball will grow gigantic does sound like Rita Repulsa, I'll tell you that right now. So here we go. Wow, okay. So he, he has some trick up his sleeve right here. And here we have Slowbro looking like Mega Man. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. All right. Bring it. And here comes the Max Quake attack. And that right there will hit it pretty hard, and this will change the terrain and increase my Pokemon's special defense just a little bit more. And he's like, <laughs> my unbelievable psychic powers will utterly humiliate you. You sure about that? Here comes Max Mindstorm. And this right here will actually hurt me a little bit more. And, well... I don't want to waste, uh, yeah, I don't want to waste a turn right now. So let's go with a Max Quig. Just finish this guy off right here. So here we go. Bam! Max Quig does the trick. Say goodbye to Slowbro. I am victorious. Throwing out that big old middle finger to Avery because he deserved it. And bam! Everybody grows levels. Yeah, buddy. And Leonardo wants to learn Aqua Tail. So let's go ahead and teach it. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Aqua Tail. This Pokemon right here is more of a physical attacker than anything. So, you know what? Screw it. Take away Rapid Spin. Don't really need it right now. Okay. Look at that. Okay. All right. And yes, we have uh, gone back to our, our regular form right here. And we have defeated our rival trainer, Avery. And yeah, that's right. Go to sleep, Avery. Oh, I could just imprison myself for this. <laughs> the victor has been decided. The one to complete the third trial is you, Draven. Hooray! That was amazing. That was a fierce battle. Oh, well done. You both gave it your all. Not really. 
Avery tried to cheat. It appears I have lost. <laughs> How pathetic. I lost even though I, resor I resorted to such an underhanded tactics. I don't think I don't think young, capable children like you could understand how I feel. I am just an average man who gave everything he could possibly could. Perhaps it's time I stopped playing around and gave my gave up on my dream of being a GM leader. After the less than reputable things I did, I'm likely to be expelled from this dojo. Draven, you are free to tell Master about the awful things I did. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for what I did. Oh, no need to tell me. You can't hide anything from the little old me. M master. I should apologize on Avery's behalf, too, as his master. What did he what he did was wrong, but he just didn't want to be beaten by his rival. That's all. He's he's a good hardworking student. <laughs> master, I thank you. You have my apologies, Draven. Don't care. As for your punishment, Avery, you're going to look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. What? What? Is that all you have to do? And you'll forgive me? <laughs> of course. Let's work on strengthening your heart. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I don't know if that was like a good or bad idea. I don't know. Me watching over Pokemon for six months, that's going to suck right there. All right, everyone. Uh, things are settled here. I'm so proud of the both of you. You mustered up, or you mustered so so much effort to try to so hard. I got so teared up that I couldn't even see half the battle. But what I saw was amazing. So moving. I'm tearing up. Draven, you gave it your best and triumphed, even when you faced an unfair challenge. To you, who has competed or completed all the trials, I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to prepare, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. And that's all, gang. You, as you were. Okay. Alrighty. Pardon me, um... Draven, I... And he gave us our, his lead card, which I guess we need. I will admit to acknowledging your strength just a little. <laughs> and you run like a girl. Okay, so that right there completes the three trials. Now all we got to do is get this armor right here. Let's go ahead and talk to the master. Ah, there you are, Draven, keeping this old man waiting, huh? Since you completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Oh, man, this armor's going to look pretty awesome. Spectacular. Now then, come on out. The heck? It's a teddy bear. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Wow. Look at this guy. Man, he's full of piss and vinegar. I want this Pokemon. Oh, wait. Hold on. Really? Really? You're going to be shy? You look like my niece back when she was four years old. <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious. It's a karate teddy bear. Oh my god. Bear! This Pokemon is, in fact, the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kabu! I know, I know, it's tiny. But raise it with diligence, and it will become strong enough to see you through any battle, just like a suit of armor. And no matter or no opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has an amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, Draven, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, then it'll, it'll help break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Kafu, okay? It'll be in your hands now. All right, get over here, buddy. You'll be okay. You and I are both Super Saiyans. This guy, right? Why, why are fighting type Pokemon the coolest Pokemon, in my opinion? Why are they so cool? Look at this guy. Oh, damn. So he's accepted to uh, be my Pokemon. Okay. So here it is, guys. Cub Fu, the Wushu Pokemon. Two feet, 26 and a half pounds of ferocity. If Cub, if Cub Fu pulls the long white hair on its head, its fighting spirit heightens and its power wells up from the depths of its belly. Oh, damn. 
And, well, I got no nickname for this Pokemon. I am going to put him in my party because there is something of importance with this guy that I have to actually take care of. So, away with Drago. And here we have Kavu. Now then, the first thing for you to do is just become best of friends with Kavu. You need to build trust. Kavu wasn't really ha hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside of the dojo, so maybe it'll help uh, you become a better friend if you let it let it uh, let it have a look around. Maybe eat, uh, maybe uh, maybe take it to a spot that has great view of the Isle of Armor. It, I'll have my students standing around good spots, so you just keep an eye out. <laughs> And, of course, having battles or camping out together will help you uh, become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep your Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armor. You can now let your Pokemon at the head of your uh, team out of its Pokeball and let it uh, for, out for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go take a, go take a stroll with Cub Fu, why don't you? Once your best buddies will start Kung Fu trading in earnest, just stop by and let me know once you uh, think you're ready. Hmm. Kung Fu. Look at this guy. So adorable. Huh. So will it walk with me? Where is it? Where is Kung Fu? Kind of want to know where that guy is. So we're going to step outside for just a tiny bit. And... Let's see. We're... Okay, that, wow. Okay, so that is not Kavu, but that is Deadshot. So, let's go right ahead and switch out to Kavu right here. And there he is, right behind you. Look at this guy. Yeah, he doesn't say much. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the three trials right here, guys. Uh, the adventure is not over yet. Uh, I have found out that we need to train up this Pokemon... And then the next adventure is going in straight to the towers that are around here. Now, you can only go to one tower, which obviously I will be choosing each one in different versions right here. So, while, you know, this is going on, like, while you guys are watching this, I probably have already completed my training with Cub Fu, growing it up to a level 70 at least. Probably. Both of them. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Cub Fu right here. So, Cub Fu, fighting type Pokemon, and right now it's advanced. Like it, it, it does love uh, its attack. It's 25 right there. Has the ability Inner Focus. The Pokemon's inten intently or intensely focus and protects the Pokemon from flinching. And so far, it only has four four moves that you know are pretty basic right here. But with uh, training with good old Draven right here, we can actually get this Pokemon to be super strong, super awesome, and ready to go for the next challenge. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next adventure, we will be going to a tower, and we will be evolving this Pokemon, and we will be battling a lot more Pokemon while we're at it, catching some Pokemon and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.